thought I'd tell you a little bit about these puppies. This one is a male. It's the only male in the group. The lighter brown one is a female. As you can see, they had white uh, markings on their bellies. Um, this one is also a female. It's got a white nose and a little, little collar. Uh, this one, the black one, is also a female. It's got a little bit of, almost looks like this color's mar this dog's markings on his feet and this on the side of his face. This one here is just absolutely beautiful. Blue eyes. Uh, this one, this one, and this one have blue eyes. We're not 100% sure who the father is, but we think we know. I've included some photos of the father. Let me see those blue eyes. They don't want to open their eyes or busy eating. They are, today is uh, July the 25th. They were born five weeks ago this Friday, so they're about four and a half weeks old. They're just about ready for the new home. Uh, we will have them taken to the vet and checked out before uh, before they go anywhere. The uh, we have other pets, and uh, none of them. We, we've never had any problems with Parvo or any kind of. Uh, health issues. Most of our dogs are inside dogs. Um, the lab wasn't originally going to be one, but uh, we just fell in love with her. And the uh, my, my grandson absolutely loves the, the white lab. She just, he, he just uh, plays with him, with her so rough and she just lays there and takes it. She's a, she's a very good dog. The labs make a great dog. She's a registered yellow lab although she's she's the white uh, breed uh, but the all the registrations for labs are are yellow uh, chocolate black so but the male um, is probably the closest to a true chocolate color with the exception of the little white markings and uh, anyway they've been uh, pretty much raised indoors their their whole life um, <clears throat> we've just recently started taking them outside uh, some to so that they could uh, uh, enjoy the the outdoors anyway that's the puppies <laughs>